Good afternoon, good evening, this is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. Today, I want to talk about the heavily rumored fact that the showrunners of Game of Thrones will be making a Star Wars film, which is also rumored to take place before the Skywalkers, long before the Skywalkers. And today, I'm not going to talk about any of the information about that, facts, things we know. I'm going to talk about what I want out of the thing and what it should be to be a success in my eyes. And I think it's safe to speak for the people like myself who didn't like The Last Jedi and Force Awakens how it should be. So, first of all, I don't want to see any jokes, humor, side-ass characters like Rose Tico, Holdo, Jar Jar, none of that stuff. I want it to be completely serious. Not geared for adults. It's okay if they have some kids in mind, like a PG-13 type audience, but I really want to see them take the route of no bullshit. Something like Kill Bill or Logan, without the gore, but just that serious tone. I don't want to see a political agenda and forced diversity, and what I mean by that is I don't want to see each diverse person with exactly 27 minutes spread out through the movie, fighting to have each important part, like, you know, well, if this race does this, then that race has to do this important, and this race will be all the bad guys, this race will be all the good guys, this race will be all the treated bad people. You know, I just want to see a natural story where it looks like they designed characters first, and then they assigned their races and genders and things to just kind of make the mood, not create the statement. Also, I want to see a shit ton of lightsaber battles. We've been through this a couple of times here, and I'm sure you guys have, that a lot of people who defend The Last Jedi think that the Snoke throne room lightsaber battle is so good. It's one of the best ever. And when you break that down, put it in slow motion, watch how they're fighting, watch the choreography, things like that, there's a lot of very silly things in that that don't make sense, where Kylo's lightsaber hits the ground, where a guy throws away his lightsaber before Kylo stabs him. We have... You know, the screw up with Ray and the CGI thing taken out. There's just a ton of things that make that objectively not a good lightsaber battle. Yeah, you could say it's kind of cool to see the blue and the red fighting together. But, you know, all in all, there was just nothing good as far as lightsaber battles. Obviously, The Force Awakens had a pretty terrible lightsaber battle. Even if it made sense that they wouldn't be swinging and jumping around like the prequels and everything, it just didn't look that good. It wasn't tense, and Rey ends up beating Kylo, taking away the tension from him. Kylo slashes Finn in the back, and he just gets like a burn across his back instead of just like cutting him in half. And when you see Rey hitting Kylo with a lightsaber, it's like she's hitting him with a stick. It's not really like a lightsaber. When a lightsaber makes contact, it really damages you, cuts a limb off, goes into you. You can't just, like, smack away somebody with a lightsaber. It's really stupid when you think about it. A lot of people say they want to see diversity of planets, all different planets. I'm okay if they want to focus it on one or two planets, as long as it's good. As long as there's interesting things going on, the story's good. It doesn't necessarily have to be all over the galaxy. That would be okay. But I'm okay if it's just on one or two planets. Some other sci-fi stuff I love, like The Matrix is a great example. It just pretty much takes place in the city and then in the real world where things are kind of, you know, messed up and destroyed in a very bland atmosphere. So, and Mad Max, by the way. It's just one big desert, basically. But those two movies work. They're really good. So, it, you know, it doesn't have to necessarily have all these diverse locations for me personally. And, of course... Last but not least, a good story. A goddamn good story. In The Last Jedi, we have a chase scene, essentially. And The Force Awakens had an okay story. And I'm not one of the people who was so upset that it was kind of modeled after A New Hope. But we need a little more. We need a little more than just kind of modeling after some other thing that worked in the past. We need a truly good story with true good risks for characters. Not just risks that don't really make sense. You know, the risks that were taken in The Last Jedi were not with the new characters, Rey, Poe, and Finn. They risked the old characters. Which can't happen again, because we'll be dealing with a whole new set of characters. Well, we could have Yoda. I'm pretty sure he could probably be around. He's 800, so it depends on how far they go back. But the point is, I want to see them take the right risks this time. Anyway, that's about all I got as far as my main points on this thing for now. You guys let me know as far as the... Benioff and Weiss 
possible Star Wars movies, what do you guys want to see? I'm doing shoutouts, special thanks, got a patron, Twitter account, things like that. I will link them below if I remember. Sometimes I forget. If you're new, please consider subscribing. I will see you next time.